These young people are amanu bi rabbihim. They are the ones who've held on to their faith, the most basics of their faith. I don't expect our young people to become scholars and experts of the Arabic language and tajweed and Quran and memorize and all of that. Those of you that are doing that, I'm so proud of you. And those of you that haven't even taken a single step in that direction, you don't know how to recite a single word of the Quran. That's not your fault. But the fact that you can still hold on to your faith and the fact that you can still make a commitment to Allah and say, Ya Allah, I want to be strong and I know where I'll get my strength. I'll get my strength from your words. So I'm turning to your book, Ya Allah. Make this journey easy for me. Make this journey easy for me. And when you can do that, you watch what Allah does for you. He will do for you what He did for them. Wazidnahum hudan. We increase them and we enhance them and we evolve them in guidance. He made you, He'll make you, He'll transform you into better and better people. He'll make you people that other people will want to be around. He'll make you a role model. Here you are looking for role models. You've forgotten that you're the one Allah gave Islam to. You're the role model. You're looking for someone to lean on. You're the one that everybody else has to lean on. Learn to stand up. This book will help you stand up. It is high time that the youth stop complaining. They stop saying the pressure is too high. I don't know how to handle it. You are the people Allah chose for this generation. And Allah chooses the right people for the right generation that can carry the banner of His faith. You're the people that Allah chose. Stop hiding behind excuses. At the, of the four ayat I told you that summarized the whole story, the first of them was they went into the cave. The second of them was they went put to sleep. The third of them was they woke up. And the last of them was that He's telling the story for a purpose. And by saying that, نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ نَبَأَهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ We're narrating the story onto you for actual purpose. By saying that, Allah is teaching you and me that there is such a thing as learning the story and not understanding its purpose. There is such a thing as learning Islam and forgetting the purpose of Islam. There is such a thing as gaining a lot of knowledge without purpose. There is such a thing. And we have to be careful about learning with what? with purpose. We cannot lose sight of purpose. Everything we do must have purpose. This is one of the most powerful lessons taught in, the, in this surah. 